Now we're going to talk about plant, which is an evergreen shrub. It's a beautiful fence. It's called Baracanta coxina, scarlet fire thorn. And this plant, which is called in Arabic al arqad shujaira, daimat lixdirar, wahia, quies to keep it. Uh, late winter pruning it cannot tolerate severe pruning lacking selectively thin to maintain it in restricted places lacking the nice thing about this plant material this plant material it is known for its thorny you can see these thorny things surrounding this plant Usually it has those berries. They are not edible. I don't advise anybody to eat any plant. You don't know if it's edible or not. Make sure, always be careful when you are dealing with plants. Don't eat plants. You don't know if they are toxic or not. Plants, you don't joke with plants. Plants are mostly medical in their shape, form, and material. But most of the time, if you want to eat, you should consult or read about a plant. This way, you make sure that you are on the right track. This is the Pyracantha coxina. There are a lot of people in our part of the world, they think it's Al-Arqad. Al-Arqad al Bat, you call هو يختلف عن العرقد لذلك be careful هذا نبات كويس يستعمل as a fence وأنا عندي في الحديقة for so many years in my house I put it as a fence because it's a protected fence which means nobody can filtrate your house if you have a fence of this plant material Pyracantha coxina and here now I will dilute this with some uh, white things so it will look like it's, it's a small, it looks like a small apple, by the way, the berries. Uh, they are, sometimes they have yellow berries, sometimes they have red. It depends on the specimen that you are dealing with. Uh, they are small, they are about one centimeter in diameter. Um, uh, and you have to uh, it, it's good. You can cut them and put them in in your house, uh, for on the tables and the, in in uh, as a flower arrangements. Uh, Pyracantha coxina. Okay. Now I will do the drawings of the leaf. The leaf is about. It's like a small uh, um, a green, dark green foliage. And it tends to be like an olive, uh, an olive. And here I'm trying to mix the colors. It looks like it's an olive. Uh, and here it is. You can see it looks like it's an olive shape, an olive shape leaf. And the color even it's almost in that direction. Now, this is the shape of my plant. Okay. Pyracantha coxina. Still, it's a good plant. And usually when you want to do it, I maybe I added too much of that green, but still it's an olive green plant.
Parakha Kokshina it gives to about two meters. Consolidate it as a fence. You can do it as a fence. It has thorny. So much, nobody can walk into it. If there is a thief or somebody and he trips in it, it's really problematic because these are about three centimeters spiky, very strong thorns. And um, you, as I said, you, um, there are a lot of white flies, scale insects, aphides, spider mites, a lot of disease into it. But you can twice or three times a year, you can spray it with um, anti bacterial uh, infection for uh, uh, those uh, the al Hulm, al al It's not really that dangerous, but most of the time be careful when you are handling this plant material. And I come now to the trunk, the trunk or the the uh, the smaller branches that you have usually are brownish in color with some darkness as you go up. Uh, they start coming up to be dark, dark, and then as you go down, you make them uh, lighter as we approach to the main trunk or the smaller branch from the smaller branches to a lighter branch. Paracantha, coxina, watch out for this plant. It is thorny, it is spiky. And when we say spiky, which means we have to make sure that we stay away from these thorny looking, look at that. It's like a needle. And if you have that, you want to make sure you don't fool around and touch it because it is, it harms, uh, if it gets it, then you have to go to the doctor and somebody has to take care of you. Again, this is the Pyracantha coxina. I like this plant. Again, very bright red colors. I will go back and do more of the redness of these plants. Uh, they look like, it looks like an apple shape, small apple shape. Some people, they go and they try to eat it. Uh, I advise not to because it is harmful. And now I want to see what I can do inside these petals uh, with, with, with uh, a little of a touch of black in the middle here. It looks like it has a cross. Paracantha coxina. Alkaline soil. It requires needs sun. Drought resistant. You don't have to uh, water it all the time. It could tolerate uh, salt. Uh, seasonal flowers. It has a very nice bright white flowers. And I like to plant this against a white wall or against a blue, light blue, or a dark bluish uh, wall. Colors of, color of flowers is white, it's a screen, uh, and it's good for the flowers and for the berries. And when you just leave it for a while and the flower drops on the ground, it, it gets out to give a good effect, usually beautiful effect on the ground when you leave it, uh, by itself again i'll come back do a little bit of touches of the greens for this plant now i have it and you can see that i am doing the plant as required let me see my Put the names of the plant, scientific name, common name, who did the work or who did the painting. And now I said it is 
pirate Kansa Cook Sinia which is Scarlet Scarlet Firethorn or they can call it the Firethorn plant Evergreen shrub Good hedge Drought resistant Al Arqad twenty six May twenty twenty guys. Here we go. Paracanta coxina al arqad maximum height two, spread is two meters. Irregular upwards. Sometimes the sheep gets awkward and it goes up, but you have to cut the um, shooting branches here and there. Thank you. Uh -huh.